VA keeps canceling my appointments and then they blame it on me. This happens a lot. You wouldn't want a VA doctor to tarnish their record and say it was their fault, would you? You want to pick and choose your battles, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. The two things that are going on here is you're engaged in the VA claims process, and these canceled appointments are interfering with your medical evidence. The medical evidence that you need to win your medical disability, your VA claim, like that one, that one is uh, one scenario. Another one is you're not in the VA claims process and you're pissed off that they just keep canceling appointments, your, your meds aren't right, your meds are late, all that kind of stuff. I get that. That's a different kind of a fight. So you got to kind of figure out which fight you're in and uh, you're in a fight whenever you're dealing with a VA, it's always a fight. So you got to figure out how much time and effort you want to spend on fighting the different branches of the VA. What am I going to do to further my claim? Is going after the VHA the best way to do it? I don't know. I think you should correct the record as quickly as possible. Download your records from My Healthy Vet. And if you see errors, you could challenge those errors. You know, call the doctor. Like, what do you mean I canceled the appointment? You canceled the appointment, remember? You're on maternity leave. Like, can you change that? So it reflects that it was your fault, not my fault. I think that's a good idea to do. Clean the record up. But, you know, if you're going through something from 20 years ago, uh, you're, you know, does the doctor still work there? Are you even going to be able to talk to them? You know, pick and choose your battles. The stuff that's in the past and not claims related, uh, it's not going to change anything, right? So I'm not going to spend my time on that stuff. Speaking of the VA claims process, if you want to learn more about how I won my VA claim and got to 100% permanent total, go over to my boot camp at combatcraig.com and check it out. What you're doing is you're chasing the VHA around, trying to get them to correct something, which you have every right to do and, and, and by all means do it but you're basically trying to get them to be compliant, right? Do things legal. They do illegal shit all the time. Go look on the news. VA medical doctor got busted for this. VA nurse caught doing that. Like, you name it, they've been caught doing it. They can't even place themselves and keep themselves in compliance. You know, go after the things that are going to affect your claim. It, going up against the VHA, the Veterans Health Administration, is a completely different animal than going after the uh, Veterans Benefits Administration. They handle the uh, monthly checks and your benefits. For me, I decided a couple years ago, chasing around the VHA wasn't worth it. I need to focus on the benefit um, part, which is the VBA. So what you need to do here is if you're in the claims process and this missed appointment is going to affect the outcome of your claim potentially, um, you need medical evidence. So you need to get in front of a doctor. So maybe you could talk to the patient advocate and complain. Um, maybe you could just request another doctor. Maybe you could talk to your doctor and just say, hey, you're a jerk off. I don't want you anymore. And he'll give you another one. Here's a couple other things that you could do. I want you to be aware of them. You could use the Mission Act and go to a private doctor. Do it that way. Urgent care. You could do one of those doctors because you just need some medical evidence. An urgent care doctor might be the perfect amount of medical evidence. And then you don't even have to dick around with the VA. Getting to a private doctor. Your goal is winning your claim not being the VA police. Know the difference between the VHA, the Veterans Health Administration, your treating physician, and know the difference between the Veterans Benefits Administration. That's the wing of the VA you're fighting right now with your claim. If you want to get into a fighting match with both of them, go for it. But I think you could be doing other things that are going to further your claim. There's plenty of VA law you can read. There's plenty of uh, medical stuff that you can read, research, nexus links, uh, researching archives, seeing how other veterans won the claim that you're trying to win. You could be doing stuff like that instead of running around in circles with the Veterans Health Administration about changing a uh, appointment that was blamed on you when it was their fault. Pick and choose your battles and stay focused. There's plenty of things you can, uh, you know, argue with the VA over? Are they helping your claim move forward? That's the question you have to ask yourself before you, you know, pick up the phone and light them up. By all means, light them up. They need to hear from all of us and they all need to be fired and the VA needs to be completely abolished. Let me jump in here real quick and tell you about my boot camp. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. You can talk to me live. There's a link on the website.
And in the description, combatcraig.com. And also, if you need medical evidence, like a nexus or documenting your symptoms properly, go to our website, combatcraig.com, and it says med team slash nexus letters. Click on that link, fill out the form, boom, you're done.